Israeli forces have surrounded home of Yahya Sinwar, potentially closing in on the top Hamas official in Gaza and man most wanted by Israeli authorities. Israel's Prime Minister said on Wednesday. The Israel Defense Forces said Sinwar was not at home and was believed to be hiding underground in Gaza. But a senior advisor to Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said on Wednesday that it is only a matter of time before we catch him. Israel publicly accused Sinwar being mastermind behind Hamas' October 7 terrorist attack on Israel. But experts say he is probably one only a few, making him one the main targets war in Gaza. Sinwar, a longtime member of the Islamist Palestinian group, was responsible for forming Hamas military wing before forging important new ties with regional Arab powers as the group's civilian and political leader. In 2017, he was elected to the Politburo, Hamas' main decision-making body, as the political leader of Hamas Gaza branch. But he has since become de facto leader of the Politburo, according to research by European Council on Foreign Relations. It has been designated a global terrorist by the U.S. State Department since 2015 and has recently been sanctioned by the U.K. and France. Harald Chorov, a senior fellow at Tel Aviv University's Moshe Dayan Center for Middle Eastern and African Studies, said that although Sinwar is a key player within Hamas, he should not be seen as its sole leader. He is perceived as the most senior person because he has such a high public profile. But Hamas doesn't work that way. He said, Hamas is a decentralized organization with many separate centers of power. And he is one of them. Chorov said that although Sinwar was a prominent figure, he was one of a triumvirate of Hamas officials responsible for the October 7 attack, along with Mohammed al Masri. Known as Al Qassam Brigade's commander Mohammed Diaf, Marwan Issa, the military arm of Hamas and deputy of Diaf, Sinwar is by far best known and most recognizable of the three. With his silver hair and deep set dark eyes beneath high eyebrows. But it was Diaf who announced October 7 attacks. But while Sinwar has spent the last few years giving speeches and photographing himself, Diaf is a deeply mysterious, shadowy figure who has not been seen in public for decades. Yahya Sinwar attended a parade in Gaza on May 30, 2021. Ashraf Amra Anadolu Agency via dead man walking his family was displaced from Al Maidal, a Palestinian village in present day Ascalon. During the Arab Israeli War, he joined Hamas in late 1980s and became one of the founders of feared domestic intelligence apparatus known as Majd. He was convicted playing a role in the 1988 killings of two Israeli soldiers and four Palestinians. Suspected collaborating with Israel and spent more than two decades in an Israeli prison. Sinwar later said that he spent these years studying his enemy, including learning to speak Hebrew. He released in 2011 as part of a deal that saw the exchange of 